Now, in our day of religious relativism and pluralism, a debate like the one this evening is incredibly politically incorrect. Uh, all religions are supposed to be equally true, right? So what's the fuss all about? Well, the answer to that question, it seems to me, is that religious relativism, which is almost unthinkingly accepted by a great many students today, uh, may not be true after all. It seems to me that religious relativism is, in fact, logically inconsistent and therefore cannot be true. The world's religions conceive of God or gods in so many contradictory ways that they cannot all be true. In particular, and I'm sure Dr. Buddy we would agree with me here, the concept of God in Islam and Christianity is so different in crucial respects that both religions cannot be right. For example, Christians believe that God is tri-personal, that the second person of the Trinity took to himself a human nature, that Jesus of Nazareth was therefore both man and God, that in his human nature he died to pay the death penalty of sin that you and I deserved, but that God raised him from the dead thereby showing his sacrificial death to be effective. Muslims deny all these things. We cannot both be right. We could both be wrong. Uh, maybe it's the Buddhists who are right. But uh, we can't both be correct. Thus, every one of us, whether Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, atheist, agnostic, or what have you, needs to ask himself what reasons we have for thinking our persuasion to be true. Otherwise, we run the risk of being self-deluded. 